This is Ashley Fredrickson with Twilla TV. Today we're here with Bryn Stewart, who is an attendant for the Miss Twilla City pageant. Hi Bryn. Hello. Tell me a little bit about what you've been up to since you've been crowned as an attendant for the pageant. Right now I'm attending school at Snow College and I'm majoring in nutrition. I play on the volleyball team and we are ranked fourth in the conference right now. Wow, that's so incredible. Um, tell me a little bit about volleyball. When is volleyball season and how are you doing? We have our actual season in the fall, but right now we're playing spring ball. So we had a two month break and right now we just re got a new coach. So we are back in the groove of things. Sounds like that keeps you pretty busy. Um, tell me a little bit about your major. Why did you choose nutrition? I picked nutrition because I'm very passionate about health and the body and lifting weights and I believe that in order to perform your best you need to have the perfect nutrition and have the right necessities in order to get your performance to the best. Bryn, let's talk a little bit more about the pageant. What's been your favorite experience that you've had since you've been crowned as, as an attendant? That's actually a very hard question for me to answer because I've loved every single event that we've been to. I would have to say that my favorite event was the Veterans Hospital. We got to walk in and visit with each one of the veterans in the hospital. It was really hard for me. I was very emotional. We got to visit with a man. Um, he was in his room and he was sitting there and the two other attendant, the attendant and Miss Tula are very musically talented. I'm not actually. I cannot play an instrument to save my life. And they played this beautiful piece. Um, Colette Jones played it. And I had a breakdown. I was in I was in tears. So emotionally inclined, the music was so beautiful, and the man's smile just brought so many emotions to me. He was so thankful that we could just be there and spend just a little bit, little bit of time with him. And I think that had to be my favorite experience. Wow, what an impactful experience to have. Uh, do you serve a lot with this title? Have you had a lot of service opportunities? Um, I would say we've had a lot of service opportunities in the community. Um, the week of the 4th of July was my favorite because we got to serve with all the, the younger kids at the parades and all the events that we had held. That's so wonderful. Tell me a little bit about what your talent was competing for this title. <laughs> That's funny that you ask. I don't have a typical stage talent. I play volleyball, so I put together a little film of me and my highlights and playing and I just talked about them while I was up on stage and why I, why I enjoy volleyball so much and what motivates me the most and things like that. So what even inspired you to compete in the pageant? Well, honestly, I love Tooele City so much and so to be able to serve on the 4th of July was my all-time thing but mostly because of the opportunities that I was given. Do you have any advice that you wish you could give those girls that are looking up to you as a role model? I would say be very confident in the person that you are. I personally have come a long way. I used to be very overweight when I was younger and I wasn't very fit. I wasn't active a lot, but I did play sports and I would just say that we are capable of doing anything, overcoming trials in your life and don't let anyone tell you that you can't. Stick to what you believe in and just know that you're capable. So tell me about your journey. How did you get to where you are today then if you did struggle with this? Well, actually volleyball is what brought me to, to understanding more on the fitness end of things. I started to exercise more and lose weight coming into high school. And my sophomore year, I got into volleyball even further. And in order for my volleyball to excel, I needed to lose some weight to increase my vertical. So I asked my coaches, what things I needed to do. And one of the things that they said was to lose weight and to get on a diet. And I take, I've, I've taken the diet and put it into more of a lifestyle. So I changed and I exercised more to make sure my health was up to par and where it needed to be to perform. How inspiring. I hope every girl is watching that needs that little inspiration and that boost. Tell me, do you have any funny or embarrassing moments that you've had um, serving as an attendant? Of course I do. I would say the most embarrassing was when we had to get up in front of one of the events and we had to sing karaoke. I do not have a karaoke voice at all. I cannot sing. It probably hurts everyone's ears. But we had to sing in front of the whole group of people. And Brianna Lyman has a beautiful voice and I had to sit next to her. And so just singing, I was a little embarrassed. But you know, you just got to go with the flow. 
Absolutely. Well, let's leave off with one more question. Um, do you have any advice that you could give the community as a whole to Willa City or a legacy that you feel like you want to leave with them giving up this title, this coming pageant? I would say take the time out of your day to get to know your neighbors and come together as a community because that is what we need in order to make Tooele City great. Wonderful. Well, that's all we have for you. This is Ashley signing off with Twilla TV.